What's going on guys, welcome back. Outside in this Jersey summer heat today because of you guys requesting a workout you wanted to see. You guys follow me on Instagram. You would have saw a few weeks ago that I posted something asking you guys what type of workout you wanted to see for a future video I was shooting this summer. And the most popular request I received was an ab workout. So I am outside here today gonna to show you guys a couple different movements for abs. And if you guys are ready to get this workout going, please keep watching. First workout, I'm gonna have you guys doing 15 ab circles. I want you to grab some type of shirt or towel, throw it behind your neck, and hang on to the ends of it like you see me doing. That's gonna create a good burn in your core. You'll feel it in your abs, your lower abs, your obliques. And you just wanna focus on using your core to move your legs while your feet are together in that circle motion. Also, try to time your inhale and exhale at 12 and six o'clock of the circle. Follow this movement up with single leg ab circles. Same exact thing, just use your core to move that leg in a circle, make sure you time your breathing, and focus on your ab muscles and feel that burn. This movement can go by a slew of different names. I chose the break dancer movement because I think it correlates to it the best. You're transferring your weight on your hands and moving your legs around. And if you know anybody who break dances, that's what it's all about. Transferring your weight, staying light on your feet. And this is what that's doing. I'm causing a heavy burn in my shoulders, my chest, my arms, my whole upper body, even in my legs. And most of all, it's burning up my core. It's really just a great full body movement for abs that will put you to the test during the middle of this workout and tire you out. But that is what you want. Progress will only come when you test yourself. For the next movement, you're gonna be doing a knee to elbow crossover. You guys are gonna start in the push up position and then drop the hip of the leg that you're driving in order to get your knee to hit your elbow or at least get your knee in that motion towards your elbow to feel that crunch. And you'll feel it in your arms as well because you're holding yourself up and it's a good full body movement. Just make sure you're breathing right because if you're working out outside, other than staying hydrated, it's very important you're getting a good amount of oxygen and breathing throughout these movements. I don't know what really possessed me to do 10 push-ups here, but I just felt like I was in the position and wanted to get my chest involved a little more, so I did 10 push-ups. You guys could throw this in as well if you want, but it's totally optional. Right into that plank position, and these are called plank crunches. You're gonna be doing 25 total. And it's just a great overall movement to throw in the middle of this workout. Like you saw before with the knee to elbow crossover, this is the same thing, we're just not gonna be crossing our knee over, which at this point sounds like a broken record coming from my mouth, right guys? Because I think for every single movement, I've said it causes a stress to your upper body, but that's what you want, you know, fight through that pain and you guys are almost home. For the final movement of this summer ab workout, guys, you're gonna be doing sitting oblique twists. Just sit back on your heels with your knees on the ground and transfer your weight side to side 
focus on using your abs to move your elbows back and forth. I mean, check out that face, guys. You know it's gotta be working if I'm making that face. Looks like I'm jamming out all by myself in the sun at some EDC concert. And a little tip for you guys with any type of ab workout, make sure at the end of the movement when you're crunching, you exhale as much as possible because that will render the greatest burn. So there you guys go. That was my summer workout video. If you can get outside for these workouts, please do. You work out more in the heat, your body's gonna be working harder. Just make sure you're replenishing afterwards with good nutrients. Here I have a veggie vitality from Jamba Juice. It's got a lot of good nutrients in it. And this is what I'm replenishing with after this workout. And I teamed up with them again to get a good point out there, just like I did in my last video I did with Jamba Juice, to get more greens into your diet. This one is to get more veggie type drinks into your diet as well. And we're also gonna give out five more gift cards for those of you commenting below. So drop a comment, let me know what you thought about this video. And for another workout video, my name is Brent Cap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.